welcome to BBC NHS Live. Today we have a special guest here to tell us about his career and about his role in the NHS. Please welcome Dr Dodds. Thank you. It's great to be here. So, could you tell us about your job and what it involves? I am a neurosurgeon, which deals with problems in the brain, in the spine, and sometimes all over the body because of the nervous system. It's a very rewarding job, but it takes a lot of hard work. It sounds like you must have got a lot of good grades to get this career. Yes, but there's more education after university. You have to go through training to be a doctor, and then you have to train your chosen pathway to make sure you know what you're doing. Ah, well, it sounds like you've worked very hard. So, how much does a neurosurgeon normally get paid? Well, you're normally looking at about an £100,000 salary, so it's a very prosperous job to undertake. But every neurosurgeon has to be skillful to get the job, which explains the money. Wow, I might even leave to become a neurosurgeon myself. You would have to spend a lot of years training, so you wouldn't become one immediately. But if you really wanted to, you could become one. Oh, well... Moving on, what made you want to join the NHS and what made you want to become a neurosurgeon? Was it the salary? <laughs> no, I wasn't aware of the pay back then. That was just the bonus. I first decided I wanted to join the NHS when I was in year 9 and was thinking of GCSE options. I thought and finally knew what I needed to do to become a doctor, which is what I wanted to do since the previous year. I took all of the sciences and then took biology as an A level and went from there. Well, we've run out of time yet today, but thank you for coming on the show today, Dr Dodds. It's my pleasure, Tom.